I am starting the recording with a shutter speed of 1 60th with an aperture of 3.2 and an ISO 400 and I'm gradually going to increase the shutter speed so you will see the banding occur. So now we're going to increase it to 1 20th, one stop. So no banding is clearly visible yet. When we increase the shutter speed to 1, uh, 1 2 50th we can see some banding but not a lot yet and if we can incre keep increasing it then we can clearly see the bending at 1 500 it's clearly visible and after 1 800 or 1 thousand it's not usable at, at all anymore and if we keep increasing the shutter speed we can see clearly see that the effect is becoming worse due to the pulse width modulation of the LEDs Now we're going to repeat the same process as we've done before. We're going to start with 160s again, but now we have turned down the brightness to a minimum mode on the kick. We can already see it banding with 160s, and it's going to be even worse when we increase the shutter speed. Let's try out. At 120, uh, 120s, it's not usable at all anymore, and uh, we can continue, but the banding is just going to get worse. At 1000s, you can see the, the the pauses where the LEDs are not active, and so that's the dark streaks. And opening up a bit, we can actually see the different colors here. We see bands of red, green, and blue, and the black bars in between are the pauses to decrease the brightness of the light. 